Lawyers for Governor DeSantis and the state's largest union of education employees were back in a virtual courtroom today. They're continuing their legal battle over Commissioner Richard Corcoran's emergency order mandating that all schools offer in-person learning five days a week. The Florida Education Association is challenging whether that order is constitutional. News 4 Jacks reporters are covering several new developments on the pandemic. We begin with Joe McLean, who's been following the lawsuit since it was filed. And Joe, the plaintiffs are hoping for a ruling quickly. They are. It's because the Florida Education uh, Association knows that schools in Florida have begun opening this week and most are set to reopen over the course of next week. All of them are mandated to be open by August 31st. Meanwhile, the state is now asking the court to throw out this lawsuit. The union's goal that all 67 counties make their own decision about when and how they should reopen without fear of taking a hit to their state funding. People of Florida have spoken in the Constitution that local school boards should make those decisions informed by the best advice that they can get. That, that power has been taken away by the emergency order. The attorney representing all the defendants, including the governor, education commissioner, education department, and state board of education, says the lawsuit is an aim to close school buildings against the wishes of many families. They ask you to invalidate the choice of the parents of 1.6 million children who've asked to be able to teach be taught face to face in an atmosphere when it's undisputed that all students receive less from virtual education. While the union's lawsuit isn't specifically calling for any school closures, its attorney said the state of the pandemic would make opening too dangerous in many school districts. Your Honor, just as we're all here on a Zoom hearing, uh, because it's, it's not safe for us to gather in a courtroom, uh, why would it be any more safe for us to expect our teaching staff, our custodians, our bus drivers to present to, to public schools for seven hour days in, in classes of 25 or 30 children and not expect to be putting them at risk. Today's hearing was uh, just to decide how the case will move forward in a timely manner. Both sides are now preparing formal responses and getting witnesses ready. The next hearing is set for tomorrow morning at 11 a.m. Reporting live, I'm Joe McLean, Channel 4, The Local Station.